All right, let's start it up. We are back with another game of Deceive Inc. We're in Chavez today on the new High Alert update. Uh, this is going to be the second of our new player builds videos. Uh, this is a build that is available at the very beginning of the game. Chavez comes pre-unlocked and we are running his 1-1-1, so everyone has access to it. Uh, to prove that this build remains good and you can win games with it. This is a player, right? Walked right up to that safe. Nope, okay. If that safe popped open, they were getting shot in the head. <laughs> but, uh, I wasn't gonna... Oh, well, something happened over here. wonder if it was them. We missed. Okay. okay, the guard killed it, but hey, we'll take that. Um, so that was a fight. We didn't even get to talk about a loadout yet, but uh, that was something. <laughs> um, let's get out of here. That's the most important thing right now. Let's get health and then get out of here. So that was like half the lobby dead there. Two calves and a red and myself is four out of like ten people in the lobby. Um, Alright, let's go over the weapon real quick. So we do 25 damage to the body and 50 to the head. Um, so it takes like three or four shots to kill someone. Obviously it's possible to do it in two. Um, if they're out of cover and you land back-to-back -back headshots and they only have 100 health, no health chip. Yeah, pretty decent weapon here. I think both of Chavez's other weapons are likely stronger than this, but uh, this one is definitely a good baseline. Um, so then Expertise 1. Expertise 1 is just a straight I go invulnerable button. Uh, someone left this here. I'm going to pick it up. I don't care. Nobody seemed to care, so whatever. Free stuff. <laughs> um... So it is an instant, not a stance. So as soon as you hit the button, you do go invulnerable. Let's grab... Oh, I thought that was a guard out, but Doug's way over there. I heard a door and hoped it was the... Uh... Um... Is that going to have to do? I don't know. That VIP looked a little suspicious. I don't want to take over the cover. Um... These VIPs are hard to tell, because they kind of wiggle when they walk anyway. Nope. Okay. It is a madam. That is kind of scary. Did she just run? She might have just run through. She didn't see us, so... We see the VIP again. More screaming. Let's head towards that. What happened? We're coaching because all the NPCs are coaching, but I don't actually know what happened. That's under us. Someone transformed in here. That's someone. There we go. Landed the headshot. It ain't right. Oh. That's... the madame died there. How can someone just Wait, there's a Doug outfit? Oh wait, I don't think there's many players left. These guards there's not many vaults left either. Alright, let's get going. I forget where it was. So the in expertise one gives you invulnerability at the touch of a button. Um... No vault terminal, but like, we got two key codes we really wanted, so Iris, you know, we'll take those. Um, yeah, you can't do much while you're invulnerable. You uh, can't reload your gun. That's the real thing I don't like. I wish you could reload. That would make the ability much better. Uh, you can jump, you can run, you can sprint. Uh, you can open unlocked doors, so any door you already have a key code for, or... Um, Oh, it's gonna be all ammo, isn't it? Of course, we need five. Two more. In this whole room, we need two more. 
it's kind of unlikely. One more. So a passive is a gray health passive. We uh, gray health is when you take damage as Chavez. Um, you some of that damage is gray health rather than just gone. Um, his passive one is you get you heal that gray health. That gray health becomes actual health again uh, after you're out of combat for a certain amount of time. It heals over time. It's pretty good. Um, the ability itself is pretty good. You couple it with the expertise one here, it becomes a lot better because when you're invulnerable, uh, you're not doing damage. We're not going to go to D because D we saw a hollow out of way back at the start of the game, so we're going to assume it's gone. Uh, we'll come back to D if we have to. Given there's only one vault terminal left, kind of unlikely. Um, but yeah, the combination of expertise and passive one makes you invulnerable and heal for that gray health. Uh, and uh, so it becomes a lot better when you pair these two together than, in, than each of them individually. Um, let's see. So we're still in phase one of the game, which I'm a little surprised by. The games have been going quick today and just on this update in general. Oh, I forgot C. Um, C here, fun fact, is the only vault terminal on Silver Beef that doesn't have a secret exit. Um, little, little fun factoid for you. Uh, that's why it's a lot of people's least favorite one, because the only exit is this door right here. Of course, I and okay, of course, it's this. Terminal. So we do get a gold chip here. Uh, but let's talk about phase one as it ends. So phase one of the game, the main goals are to get uh, key cards are probably most important, and then field upgrades are second most important. Uh, I just looked at my field upgrades and realized I'm not running my usual ones. Uh, but uh, we have them all, so it's okay. <laughs> So these ones I'm running here are hack, so gray to gold, left to right, hacking speed, intel capacity, health, social battery, and then hacking speed, or sorry, expertise cooldown, not hacking speed. Um, I, uh, this is left over from my Larson video yesterday uh, that I forgot to switch. Um, if I wanted to run um, not my standard, which I can go over in a second, I would probably switch the gray and the gold on this, put hacking speed on the gold and expertise cooldown on the gray, or potentially instead of expertise cooldown, I would do cover uh, cover speed. <laughs> so uh, yeah, Chavez with the one doesn't really need expertise cooldown, especially not on his gold. You're probably not going to use that twice in a fight anyway. Although if you could, it would be kind of cool. Might be worth testing. Not in this video, but uh, well, we'll do it if we uh, have a chance. But other than that, we're not going to. We're not going to try to force it. Um, we're now in phase two of the game, try to get to the package. So everyone grabs their favorite guard outfit and heads to the vault. Once we're in the vault, we gotta get a technician outfit. Never got this, this was quite a maneuver. You're dead? Cool. I landed some nice shots on that ace. And then if you have the bounce pad, you can do this. Make sure you delete the bounce pad. And just hold the reload key to do that. Uh, I don't have a gold key card, so what I like to do is open the door and then get as much intel as I can back. So, grab that. Grab four here. I think... I think there's two there, and we'll take a peek downstairs, but we're not going to try too hard. Okay, we're going to grab this three. They pinged us. Which way are they going? Not this way. We did open the door, so we can't go in. We just want to wait for a ping again to know which way we're running. That way. Alright. So now in phase three, the purpose of phase three... Oh, it's that goat, I think, on the thing. They go over. Dead. Yeah, they're an elite guard. They're a rob. 
Oh, I'm missing. Oh, I didn't hit F in time. All right, well, I lost that because I didn't hit my expertise in time. She had literally, I think, one HP there. There was a sliver. Um, but that is going to be a new player Chavez build. The game is over. I don't know if this Yumi is aware, but uh, it is. Uh, I, yeah, I screwed up one shot there, and I didn't hit my expertise in time. I definitely would have won that if I had have hit my button in time, or I think I missed two shots, the first one and, like, the fourth one. Um, very unfortunate, but... We did talk about how it's played. It is definitely a viable build. It's not Chavez's best build currently. Um, let's bring up the stat screen. We don't need to watch those Yumi run out while I finish talking here. Uh, upgrades for this is you definitely want to switch to passive 3 and expertise 2 when you can. Um, so basically mastery level 7 and then up, upgrade your guns as you get them. If you feel comfortable with the weapon 2, use that. Weapon 3, if you feel comfortable, use that. So that's our new player build. I will... Uh, leave a like if you did, comment your thoughts, and subscribe for daily Deceive Bank videos like this. I forgot my outro for a second. I will see you in the next one.